Welcome to NRP On Demand. In the Gilded Age, when uh, collectivization at the corporate level was so uh, effective, uh, it only makes sense that the farmers, which were facing in, uh, problems when they tried to act individually, decided to work together. Um, farmers initially started to work together to ease the isolation of being in the rural areas, and they would get together in organizations, often calling themselves the Grange. Uh, and little granges popped up all over the place. And soon they realized that they could uh, organize economically and pool their resources together to purchase uh, things at a lower discounted rate. And eventually they realized that they could also organize politically and act as one large voting block in order to get uh, representatives elected that would be sympathetic to their uh, farmers' plight. One of the things that the farmers uh, attributed their difficulties to was the railroad monopolies. So oftentimes there's only one railroad running through a given area and uh, they could charge largely whatever they wanted, uh, especially in the view of the farmers. Uh, the rates were much too high, uh, both to transport the farm products and to store them until they could be sold in the open market. Um, so the Grangers uh, elected state representatives that would then go on and pass what are known as the Granger laws, laws that tried to regulate the railroads. Um, and they were passed and the railroads ended up suing and it went all the way to the Supreme Court and in a series of uh, court cases, uh, the Supreme Court overturned these Granger laws, largely based on the fact that um, the laws violated interstate commerce, which means the railroads ran across state lines and a state cannot um, regulate the economic practices in another state. So uh, only the federal government can regulate interstate trade, which eventually does lead to the Interstate Commerce Act. Um, the railroads were not the only thing the farmers tried to uh, take care of, the, and we will talk about those more as we start talking about the populist movement. Farmers equals populists. Thank you for joining us with this NRP On Demand broadcast. For more information on the National Reconstitution Project, our mission, or the projects, please visit our website listed below.